How China is shocking the world with $1.3 billion high-speed rail project in Turkey. China's $1.3 billion investment in Turkey's high-speed railway project, part of its Belt and Road Initiative, is set to modernize Turkey's infrastructure and bring significant economic benefits to the country. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at the project, its benefits and challenges, and what it means for Turkey and China. First, let's start with some background information on the project. In 2015, Turkey announced that it was going to build a high-speed railway connecting the capital city of Ankara to the western city of Izmir. The project was expected to cost around $4.5 billion and take around four years to complete. However, due to financial difficulties, Turkey was unable to secure funding for the project, which put it on hold. Fast forward to 2020, and China came to the rescue, offering to build the railway for $1.3 billion. This was part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to connect Asia, Europe, and Africa through a network of infrastructure projects, including railways, ports, and highways. The project was signed in July 2020 between China's State Railway Group and Turkey's Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure. So, what are the benefits of this project for Turkey? Firstly, it will help to boost the country's economy. The railway is expected to cut travel time between Ankara and Izmir from around 14 hours to just 3.5 hours, which will make it easier and faster for people and goods to move between the two cities. This will have a positive impact on trade and tourism, as well as making it easier for people to commute to work. Secondly, the project will help to modernize Turkey's infrastructure. The country has been working to upgrade its railways in recent years, but progress has been slow due to financial constraints. By partnering with China, Turkey will be able to benefit from China's expertise in building high-speed railways, which will help to improve the country's infrastructure and bring it up to international standards. The project will help to strengthen the relationship between Turkey and China. The two countries have been working together on various infrastructure projects as part of the Belt and Road Initiative, and this railway project is just one example of this cooperation. By working together, Turkey and China are able to share expertise and resources, which will help to build stronger ties between the two countries. However, there are also some challenges associated with the project. Firstly, there are concerns about the environmental impact of the railway. The project involves building a new railway line through several protected areas, which could have a negative impact on local wildlife and habitats. There are also concerns about the impact of the railway on local communities, as the construction of the railway may disrupt people's lives and livelihoods. Secondly, there are concerns about the cost of the project. While the $1.3 billion price tag is significantly lower than the original estimate of $4.5 billion, there are still concerns about the long-term costs associated with the project. Turkey will need to pay back the loan provided by China, which could put a strain on the country's finances in the future. Finally, there are concerns about the potential geopolitical implications of the project. Some experts have raised concerns that the railway could give China greater influence in the region, which could have implications for Turkey's relationship with other countries, including the United States and the European Union. China's Belt and Road Initiative has been criticized by some countries for being a tool for expanding Chinese influence globally. Therefore, some experts have raised concerns that the project could influence Turkey and the region, potentially leading to political tensions with other countries. Moreover, there are concerns that the project could raise security concerns, particularly in the context of the ongoing conflict in Syria. Turkey is a key player in the Syrian conflict and has faced significant security threats from extremist groups operating in the region. The high-speed railway project could potentially make Turkey more vulnerable to these threats, as it will be easier for people and goods to move between Turkey and other countries in the region. Another challenge associated with the high-speed railway project is the potential for delays and technical issues during construction. The project involves significant technical and logistical challenges, including building tunnels and bridges, laying tracks, and electrifying the railway. Any delays or technical issues could result in cost overruns and delays in completion, which could further strain Turkey's finances and delay the expected benefits of the project. The high-speed rail project in Turkey will involve the construction of a 624-kilometer railway line between Ankara and Izmir, two of Turkey's largest cities. The railway will have a top speed of 350 kilometers per hour and will reduce travel time between the two cities from the current 14 hours 
to just 3.5 hours. The project is being financed by a loan from China's Exim Bank and is expected to cost $1.3 billion, significantly less than the original estimate of $4.5 billion. Turkey has been seeking to upgrade its transport infrastructure for several years, and the high-speed railway project is seen as a key component of this effort. The project is also expected to create jobs and stimulate economic activity in the areas where the railway will pass through. Despite the potential benefits of the project, there have been concerns raised by some experts about the long-term implications of Turkey's partnership with China. Some experts argue that China's Belt and Road Initiative is primarily focused on expanding Chinese influence globally, and that China is using its financial resources to gain leverage over other countries. Additionally, there have been concerns about the environmental and social impact of some Belt and Road projects, with critics arguing that some projects have led to environmental degradation and social disruption. In response to these concerns, the Turkish government has emphasized the importance of ensuring that the high-speed railway project is completed in an environmentally and socially responsible manner. The government has stated that it will work closely with Chinese authorities to ensure that the project meets international standards and does not have a negative impact on the environment or local communities. The high-speed railway project is expected to bring several economic benefits to Turkey, including increased trade and investment, job creation, and regional development. By improving transportation infrastructure, the railway will make it easier and faster for goods and people to move between Ankara and Izmir, as well as other cities along the railway line. This is expected to increase trade between the two cities and stimulate economic growth in the region. Additionally, the project is expected to create thousands of jobs during the construction phase and afterwards through increased economic activity and tourism. The railway is expected to attract more tourists to the region, particularly from other countries in the region, who will be able to travel more easily and quickly between Ankara and Izmir. This is expected to boost local businesses and create new job opportunities in the hospitality and service industries. The high-speed railway project is also expected to have a positive impact on regional development, particularly in the western region of Turkey. The railway will pass through several cities and towns along the route, including Eskisehir and Afyankarahisar, which are expected to benefit from increased economic activity and improved infrastructure. This is expected to help reduce regional disparities in economic development and promote more balanced growth across the country. Furthermore, the project is expected to have a spillover effect on other sectors of the economy, such as manufacturing and construction. The improved transportation infrastructure will make it easier and cheaper to transport goods and raw materials between different parts of the country, which is expected to boost manufacturing and construction activities. Overall, the high-speed railway project in Turkey has the potential to bring significant economic benefits to the country and help modernize its transportation infrastructure. While the project comes with certain challenges and risks, it is seen as a key component of Turkey's efforts to upgrade its infrastructure and promote economic growth. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos.